and it's begun. It's metal. Dark Knight's metal. DC Comics' newest event series by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo, the guys behind the New 52 Batman series. And they're back. And it's epic. I mean, the entire DC Universe is going to be affected by this. It's a new crisis, so if you're familiar with DC history, they've always had a good impact in their universes. And this one is going to take it to a new dark multiverse. As teased in the solicitations and online, you're going to see evil versions of Batman coming out of this storyline. Batman investigating a mystery that involves the nth metal that is used in Hawkman's weapons. And the Justice League caught in the middle of things. It's going to be epic. Uh, I can't overstate the fact after reading the first issue. Uh, without spoiling, all I'm going to say is for those who have followed the DC Universe and other other publications involving DC Comics, there's going to be a character here that is introduced into the DC Universe proper since Rebirth began. And of course, we know that Watchmen has been involved with The Button and the upcoming Doomsday Clock. Well, this introduces a new wrench into things. All I'm going to say is, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> and I can't... I can't spoil. So, all I'm going to say is, read Dark Knight's Metal. And if you haven't caught up with the prequels, there is Dark Days the Forge and Dark Days the Casting. Here are the two covers to both the prequel comics. And, <clears throat> yeah, I said Dark Knight's Metal has different variant covers. So I have two of them here. Both by Greg Capullo. Here's one with the metal hand sign formed by the Justice League. And here is the Midnight Release cover, which has a pretty epic Batman. Battle hardened Batman around the circle with the GL signs. So that's it for DC Comics. And for video games, we have the new Rockman. Mega Man Legacy Collection 2, which has Mega Man 7 to 10. And online, they've released the sequel to this, Batman the Telltale series. Uh, it's called Batman Enemy Within, so he has to deal with the Riddler and the repercussions of his actions in this first se season, which was released last year. An epic uh, point-and-click episodic adventure, which has all of the consequences that you've built in the game carry over it's your own story you play as bruce wayne or batman or the choices you make as bruce wayne and batman will affect the story that is told here and i have it for ps3 and ps4 uh the enemy within is available online in the playstation network or xbox live or uh through steam so you can download it They'll eventually release a physical copy, Season Pass, come October. So if you're going to wait for that, it's going to be available in disc form. So yeah, everything's been fine. All bat-tastic. And I've also been enjoying, back to comics again, uh, The War of Jokes and Riddles, which has the Joker fighting the Riddler and Batman caught in the middle. It's a past arc, so uh, it's told in a past setting by Bruce Wayne and why things became the way they were in Gotham City involving the Clown Prince of Crime and the Riddle Guy. And as you can see through the artwork of Mikkel Janin, he takes uh, he takes inspiration from uh, Batman v Superman. So Batman looks like the DC Extended Universe version here. So there you go. Please read these comics, they're excellent. Dark Knight's Metal, and The War of Jokes and Riddles, if you're a bat fan. And I'll be back again soon, guys. Thanks. Please visit my Facebook page, Timster, T-I-M-Z-S-T-E-R, here also at YouTube, and follow me at Twitter at the Timster. See you around.